<laughs> Hello, we're here, Yarn Genie Garden again because the sun's shining and the birds are singing. You should be able to hear them chirruping in the video. And we're going to look at increases today. So we're looking at different types of increases and why you might want to use them. So um, if I give you little examples here, let's look at, this is Ulysses, <laughs> new Ulysses. This is the first uh, glimpse of Ulysses. It is, isn't it? <laughs> um, and we're just going to show you that we use things like when you want to increase around, and we've got increasing in his bottom, sorry. His bottom. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not very polite, is it? Um, but to give it, it's got a slightly rough look, this increasing. And that's because we've used a knit front and back, which is a kind of rough and ready type of increase, works really really well it's very simple and quick and easy to do but it does give you a kind of rough looking finish but for a bottom that's fine uh, but if we were going to shape a face for instance we might want to use something that's a bit smoother um, now what we do if we wanted a smoother increase is probably use something called a make left or make one right and here's a good example this is a lovely little fingerless glove this might end up with a unicorn head or tail on just it. You might. just might hold on there, all fresh off the design palette. Um, but what I want to show you is this is the thumb gusset. Can you see this line here? There's a line of stitches. And can you see there's stitches going out to the left of it and stitches coming out to the right of it. And that makes the thumb gusset sit out. And this we've done with making a stitch to, that left leans and making a stitch that right leans. And that's what I'm going to show you is how to make a, a, a right hand leaning stitch and a left hand leaning stitch. It's often known as an M1R and an M1L. Um, here's some other examples so you can see it again here. So there, this is the thumb gusset that's just done in a nice pink yarn so you can see it more clearly. But you can see how these go off to the left and these go, sorry, these go to the right. Oh, I can never do lights and left. And these go off to the left. Um, here is a nice little piece. This is just showing the right leaning increases going off to the right there, off from these main stitches. And I did this piece to show you the difference between that and a knit front and back. Look, now I don't know if you can, can you see this well, Joe? You can. can you see? So. This you is the knit. Way a little bit yeah. Oh, do you want sun. to go into the sun? Yeah, we can do that. So here, look, can you see against this big, this, this is the stitches going straight up. But here we've got the increases and there's that little knobbly bar. Can you see the little bubble there? Mm. Which is very different from these, which have just gone up nice and smoothly. No bumps in those. So this is the knit front and back and it does leave this little bubble in in your knitting, which is fine if it, it's in a place that doesn't show or it's on the edge of your knitting, it's completely fine. But if you're doing something that's going to display, um, you might want to use something a bit smoother. So that's why we use different increases. And what I'm going to very quickly do, because we do have other videos to show you this in more depth, but here is a very quick demo of each of those types of increases. So first of all, here is a knit front and back. So we just knit into the front of the stitch, take it out, but we don't drop that stitch, and then we knit into the back of it. There you go, and now I've got two stitches where there used to be one, and you can actually see that little bar appearing underneath the second stitch, and that's what happens with a knit front and back. But it makes a new stitch for you, so it's all grand. If I go on a couple of stitches, here is a right-leaning increase. So to make the right leaning increase, we're going to look for the bar between the stitches and we're going to make a right increase that's going to lean against this row here. So with the right, right is back to front. So we come in from the back of the stitch of the bar, we knit into the front of the stitch. Sorry, my cotton's splitting a bit. There we are. And now if I just move that on one stitch. So now you've got an increase stitch here which is leaning to the right of this main stitch here. Can you see that going up? So there's a stitch leaning to yeah. the right there. And then you can compare it with the one that you yeah. did before. Okay. Oh yeah, well there's the one before which has got the bump the in it. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do here is put a left leaning stitch. Now for the left you pick up from the front and knit into the back of the stitch. And now what you should see, this is the start of a few... Woo! <laughs> Oh that's golly, it's just, it's just that's the rest of them gone, never mind. Um, so what this, this would be the start of a gusset here. So what you've got there is you've got, this is the main row 
and you've got a left leaning stitch going out to the left there and a right leaning stitch going out to the right there and that is a much smoother stitch than this bumpy one so there you go thank you